Creative Juice is the overarching name for my bottled ink collections and this is the new Twinkle Toes sets. They come in individual bottles, 15 mil, which is plenty of ink to do all sorts of lovely things. There's two sets of 12 colours, so 24 colours in total, and all of the colours are named after dancers, because that is how you're going to feel using them. Like your paintbrush or your brush or your pen is dancing. The fabulous thing about inks is how versatile they are. I've put all of the inks into the ink brushes or water brushes so that I can just use them as markers, like a mermaid marker. And that's a long-standing favorite way for me to use my inks, but you can also use these in fountain pens or in dip pens or in misters. Now, this is quite unusual for a glimmering ink, which Twinkle Toes is. It's got sparkle. It's got a beautiful glimmer that lives within it. In some of the colors, the glimmer is contrasting to the main color. And in others, it's a, a monochromatic effect. So there's all sorts of beautiful stories going on within the inks. One of my favorite ways of using the Twinkle Toes is with misters, which you usually can't use glimmering inks with because they block most sprayers. But Twinkle Toes, the glimmer is ground so finely that it works very well in mister bottles. And I love misting it through lace. So that's what I'm showing you on the screen. All sorts of Twinkle Toes colors. I remember there's 24 there, so when they mix and mingle, they make new colors as well. And I'm spraying them through the various laces that we have on the website. And you get such beautiful effects. Now, of course, you can use them with stencils or without anything at all, just spray it everywhere. Oh, look at that purple with the gold twinkle in it. Hello. That's Atlantis, which is a watercolor. And now we're back to <laughs> Twinkle Toes. Uh, this is some of the more earthy colors and they're water soluble inks. So when you add water over the top, they're going to resuscitate and start to mingle and socialize and dance a whole new dance. But I love spraying them through the various laces to get all sorts of different effects. I can also combine them with some of my other inks if I want flatter areas or I can, I can also contrast them with the more densely high impact sparkle of the Star Power inks. The Star Power inks, they have that impact, but they cannot be misted. The glimmer in them is just too big, but Twinkle Toes, fabulous in misters and beautiful on different types of paper. This is the levitation paper, which is especially ink friendly. It's a slow drying paper, it allows inks to dry slowly rather, so they can split and do gradients and do other things. But if you're going to do a intense layering of color, like really go for it, watercolor paper and I've put trust the mess sheets down which just will stop the ink from going everywhere and I make the ink that is sitting on those uh, little Teflon pages I can then use elsewhere and I'm spraying through some of our laces dabbing off with a textured paper towel just to reveal the hidden treasure that lies beneath sometimes under a thicker application Again, I've got some levitation paper and it does behave very differently to normal paper. It's not better or worse. One's not better than the other. They're just different and that's a wonderful thing. So I've got this background and there's a little bit of a mermaid tail appearing and then a whole mermaid is going to uh, start to fly out of here. But as I'm dabbing, you can see um, these beautiful mingling of other colors and this started to look like a Kelpie forest so I thought oh I might use my 
Twinkle Toes inks in the ink brushes to draw with. And as these are a water soluble ink, I love to use water with them when I'm creating and drawing with them in this way. Then I get different gradations and variety with every single stroke. So I have got one of my sponge sofas, I took the sponges out, put some water in with a palette pipette, and I'm just dipping my brush into that so I've got a little bit of water in the brush so I get a softer color at first then it flows into a more intense color and then I'm taking my drawing over to the other side of the page and letting the mermaid flow look at the hands seriously now <laughs> I have to say when you are ink spraying you are going to get messy hands um, it just washes off with water if it really is staying on your hands because you've really been having a good time Hashtag, I always permanently have inky hands. Uh, just wash your hair. It will be all gone by the time you come out of the shower. And I'm just letting ideas flow, introducing other art supplies like the musical marker, which is an acrylic ink. And if I put that into a puddle of wet ink, it's going to bleed out and across the ink and give me a little bit of a different effect. So I'm just trying to lift the tail, which is the same colors as the Kelpie C in the background. And I want them to be these same family of colors for the mermaid and the background, like she's swimming in amongst kelp. That was my idea anyway. So I'm just trying to think of ways to make things stand out. I've also used some star power ink, where light might be coming down and touching her through these inky depths. And it gives a real foiled effect. It's hard to see uh, from just this one static view point. But believe me, the glimmer is real. Correction. Sparkle. Star power sparkles. Twinkle toes glimmers. It's more like fairy dust. It's, it's, it's fancy, but it's subtle. Is elegant where star power is in your face glamour and we need them both we need it all twinkle toes mainly has bright colors in it but there are some neutrals that we can use for skin tones as you can see here bakata and mambo like I said, all of the colors are named after dancers. Merengue and Bolero are our pinks. We've got the Lindy Hop, the Swing, Boogie Woogie. Lots and lots of fun colors. And it makes sense to use them with the brushes from the brush ballet as well. We've got all, so all sorts of different types of dancers and movement within the art supplies. Why shouldn't art supplies be gorgeous and fun? The art you're going to make with them is going to be gorgeous and you're going to have fun doing it, I hope. So we may as well start the process from the very beginning with the actual tools that you need. Now this video actually came from a much longer live stream that went over two different live streams and I call my live streams love streams because I have so much fun doing them usually on my Facebook page and one of them didn't record I was having technical conniptions so unfortunately I haven't got the in the part that goes in between the beginnings and the finished result but this is our mermaid with her twinkle toes her glimmer her shimmer I've also used my joyful gesso as an acrylic to paint in her skin tone and to add details I've used my magic wand colored pencils. Everything that I've shown you, the lace, the inks, the misters, everything is available at janedovenport.com.